Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, thanks for watching and coming back. I appreciate you all. If you're new, welcome. I am so glad you are here and I hope you consider subscribing. So this week was spring break out here in Anchorage. The kids were home from school and I like to get some appointments scheduled for them during their holidays if I'm able. So on this day, it was their first dentist visit for the year. For our older three, it was a routine checkup. For our littlest, Javera, it's her first visit. It was a challenge to calm her down during Moro, Tai, and Jazara's checkup. She wanted to talk to people in the waiting area. She wanted to walk around. She wanted to explore. So I stopped recording. <laughs> Not because of Javera, but because I saw a sign that says no phone recordings and such unless given permission by the doctor. After their appointments, we came straight home because it was past Javera's nap time and it was only going to go down here from there. I had some leftover curry for lunch. It was our dinner from last night, but it was so delicious I couldn't wait to warm it up again and eat it for lunch on that day. After resting for a bit after lunch, I felt really good and wanted some katsu chicken for dinner. So I got started on dinner a little early that evening. I started out by removing all the visible fat on the chicken. It took me a while, but like I said, my body was cooperative this evening and I was enjoying standing there just taking my time removing the fatty parts. <laughs> about other people but this is how I make my katsu chicken at home and my family and I for as long as I've been helping in the kitchen or even helping cooking well we wash our chicken so yes in my kitchen now as a wife and a mother I wash any kind of meat and produce before cooking flour in a glass pan that I had and some very basic and light seasoning I didn't want to overdo it and I do eyeball a lot I don't have measurements for you or anything as you can see I'm just eyeballing it and stuff like that and that's how I cook mostly um, unless I'm baking sweets then I try to stick to the exact measurements and stuff Also, side note, I didn't need it much after removing the fat off the chicken, but I washed my cutting board um, and I realized that I didn't need it. So 
Yes, I always wash my cutting board or I use a different one after cutting meat or produce and such. an entire bag of panko in a deep glass pan uh, you'll need enough to coat the chicken I then added four eggs for the wet mixture and you'll see the steps I did before frying and stuff like that in a little bit but yes yeah, so it's very simple you've got your flour and then you've got your eggs and then panko before you fry it So again, those steps is chicken in the flour, make sure you shake off any extra excess that's on it, then you dip it in the eggs, and then you lay them in that panko bed, and just I press it on to make sure that it's fully coated and stuff like that. And then as you can see from however many, I think it was like one and a half if I'm being specific with the cups of flour, and then the four eggs and then that bag of panko that's how much was left over from the amount of chicken that i had so yes now it's time to get frying i like to clean up as i'm cooking because it clears up the sink and the counter space and by the time we're done eating dinner the dishes that i washed while cooking are dried and ready to be put away so it doesn't overwhelm me or the boys or Fatu. Since we all help wash dishes after dinner, it's an all hands on deck in this household type of deal, you know? And also, um, I'm not sure about other people, but in my household or just growing up, you know, being an Islander and whatnot, again, this is my, like how I was brought up and everything and now how I live, we don't, use a dishwasher I use it to put away my pots and pans but I like to wash the dishes so yeah we're teaching that to our boys too that you wash your dishes by hands you know but again please don't come for me this is just how I was raised and this is now how I'm raising my <laughs> For the katsu sauce, I use brown sugar, Worcestershire sauce, kikoman soy sauce, and ketchup. And I'm sorry guys, I thought I was recording when I was mixing it, but it turns out I didn't. Your chicken should be looking like this, and I was so excited to eat this for dinner. It's been a long time since I had katsu chicken. So this is the final look before we ate it. <laughs> Again, I eyeballed it and when it was nice and golden brown, I removed it from the frying pan and had it sitting to cool down in the colander or strainer, however you want to call it. We had potato salad and rice to go with the katsu. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it and leave me a comment down below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you all next time.